Welcome back to more Walking Dead. Last time, we broke into some fool's house. Coloring book. The bowls of fruit. It's fake. Damn. Damn. I could have loved one of those bananas. Jesus. Oh, you retard. The fuck, dude? Okay, let's look for a weapon. Shut up, answer machine. Ooh. Hello? Well, the guy in the fridge. Anything good? Marshals. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of loot you'd leave a babysitter. Okay, I guess This not. place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Nothing in there? Shut up, answering machine. I'll get to you. Goddamn robot. Dude, you could have at least refilled the glass. How long's that shit been sat there? Gotta be something good. Tacos? You all like taco? Hmm. Slip on the blood again. Go on. Ah. Maybe there's something on there. Yeah, we we'll play it just to shut it up. No reading mail or listening to your messages. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. Oh, we shit. Love you. We love you. Someone's mama just got chowed down on. Daddy? Huh? I'm not your daddy. Hello? Who the hell are you? You need to be quiet. Meh? Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No shit. No, I'm not. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> oh shit, behind you, bitch. Ah, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. 
Kill, 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 kill. Hey. Oh shit. You, you've already tripped on anyone's retard. Hit a bitch in the face. Get out, dude. You retard. What is it with you and falling? Give me the hammer, kid. Give me the hammer. Give me the hammer, kid. Q, 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 not dead yet. <laughs> Whoa. That's a bad babysitter. Man. Hi there. Don't worry. Did you kill it? It's only a little bit of blood. I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. Yeah, big black daddy gonna take what care of you. What should we do now? I'd kill anybody. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Slow up, kid. You're meant to stay close to me in case monsters attack. Okay, can we get in the car? Do is that their car? Oh, there's zombie there. There's a zombie. Oh, it's not a zombie. I ain't never getting home to mom at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Hello? What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. No shit, kid. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... That sounds a good guy. A neighbor. Good guy? Good that sounds like a good plan. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Push! 
Push! Quickly. Come on, Clementine, push it. Quick, get in the truck. Drive, bitch, drive. Were any of those guys neighbors too? We're gonna hit one, aren't we? Oh, maybe not. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. See you later. <laughs> Damn fun, boy. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Good girl. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Well, thank you kindly. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. Yeah, what did no you say shit. your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Oh, that's actually Herschel. How it doesn't look like it does in the series. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who were you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. Yes, it does. I don't know what does. you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Load of bad shit. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. 
We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. So this is in the barn that he keeps zumbles in. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. So where's these other fa three families that are supposed to be in the barn? Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. No oh, shit, I missed my option. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit, better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. The government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See ya. Okay. Seems like those two are getting along. Yep. 
You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Wave. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, kid. Do you uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. So what am I doing? I'm confused. Can't go in and see Herschel? No, it don't look like it. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Yeah, it's okay. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Mm, must be pretty fucked up living in a um, Zombopolix. Zombopolix? Made up a new word. <laughs> Okay, can't go any further in there. So, what do I need to do? How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... Sean's still working on that fence. No shit, I can't see that. Really? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. I really Dad like the art style of this. It is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Mm, that's fucked you don't up. see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Bastard. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. 
That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Let's go help Herschel. And talk about the other barn where he's keeping zombies. If you haven't seen the series of Walking Dead, you really should, by the way. It's really good. And that's how I know some of these characters. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh, shit. Go! I'll get my gun! What's going on? Good. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! Guess it's time to move on. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Well. 
This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Um, no. Bitch, turn away, go, go, go. shut no matter what I fucking mean it we don't know who these people are they could be dangerous worse they could have let them right to us where the hell is your humanity they would have died out there we have kids with us I see one little girl what is it I I have to pee I'd go out there again in a second I bet you would in a minute Clem They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What Punch the him in the face. About? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. And get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bit- It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> Lee, get the fuck up and save her, son of a bitch. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! 
I didn't queue hard enough. You okay? Just great, thanks. Was he the one bitten? No, don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. What are we looking for? We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. And then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around, local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Okay, and this is where I'm going to end this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, rate, all that good stuff if you enjoyed the episode. If you don't, leave me a comment telling me why, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.